Hello guys, my name is Fox and welcome to part 20 of our Songhai Ascension campaign in EU4. Let's continue. So in the previous episode, not much stuff happened, but we declared the war on Oyo. Unfortunately, everyone around Oyo is now declaring wars on them, uh, including Yao, uh, which is not good because he's gonna steal some land from me probably, but we're gonna try to take whatever we can, sieging down provinces that are available. Also in the previous episode, we got our first artillery, which is awesome. Um, but yeah, unfortun unfortunately, the capital of this guy is currently under the siege, so I couldn't really get too much more war score. Uh, but I will try to jump on it as soon as possible. My royal marriage with Morocco ended. That's fine. I hope you're gonna ask me for another one. And I could invest into the policy again. Global settler increase. Yes, please. This is really important. I was gonna take that. Gonna increase even more. Our growth in Tuat and in all the other future provinces, which is good. And yeah, in the previous episode, also colonialism uh, as a uh, institution has appeared. So now we're getting even more the debuffs on our uh, tech cost. But soon, hopefully, we're gonna get to the Renaissance. Uh, lose army professionalism and local man manpower modifier in Massina or gain professionalism, but lose Amir's loyalty and get some unrest in Massina. Mm, let's look at the Amir's. They're pretty loyal, so we're gonna punish them. Gonna get some unrest. Hopefully not too much. Hopefully not something we could not handle. Okay, so your capital have fallen, so you're now gonna surrender to these guys, I think. And we should be able to jump back on your capital. Ramadan. Gain legitimacy, gain prestige. Let's go for prestige. We have all the legitimacy we can have. Uh, but yeah, you're like 96. Uh, do you have any cores? Do you have any Mossy cores? You don't. Do you have any uh, Benin cores? You do. So you probably will be forced to give land some land to Benin. We'll see how this war gonna end for you. But yeah, I should be ready to jump in on your capital as soon as possible. Uh, protests in Azawag. Uh, move toward legalism, move toward mysticism. Local tax modifier, local manpower modifier for 10 years. <sighs> God damn it. But Olema's gonna get some prestige or uh, loyalty rather. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, could we get something out of this? Uh, we could get... Some admin points, but you st it's still gonna drop you. Okay, we could give you a generous do donation. And then take admin points from you. Yeah, that seems fine. Royal marriage with you, fine. Oh, f okay. You took more than I expected. You actually took his capital. But now his capital moved to the other province, so I could siege it down. And actually, you left all the provinces I needed, pretty much. So that's good. How many troops I need in here? Uh, only one. Oh, that's good. Uh, I'm not even probably gonna leave the cannon in here, to be honest. Just leave like two infantry. Uh, I would prefer to have the general with me. That's, that's actually fine. The general actually has tons of uh, siege ability, so might as well leave him on the siege. Okay, you take this. And you take that. Okay, there goes your capital. I do not have claim on noob, unfortunately. And yes, this guy already siege it down. Uh, yeah, you've been, been in. You're a greedy bastard, you know. Uh, okay, 81% war score, so uh, I probably want these three provinces. They're not even that much development, so shouldn't be too bad for me to take. Yeah, 27, 27 war score, and only, only 30 uh, develop, or, uh, diplo points. Should I take yeah, Wuri as well? Yeah, we might as well, we have, uh, we have claim on it. Not much of aggressive expansion, 
not much overextension and access to the sea. Yeah, that sounds fine. And now the rest probably gonna get claimed by uh, Yawa, and you're gonna li uh, you're gonna be left with only one promise of a bomb, I think. So okay, time to go and get it all cored. Uh, you guys need to combine and start drilling again. How is the supply limit? 18. Yeah, sounds fine. So, go and start just drilling again. Uh, we are reinforcing. Protecting Smiley. Vassalize Bonaman. Would he be willing to get vassalized? Uh, no, because I owe his course. So, why do you even... Prop uh, why do you even give me this mission? Stupid game. Uh, okay, Toad, how are you looking? Could you please grow quicker? I need, I need the renaissance to start uh, spreading. The worldly Ulema. Ulema, you're really annoying, no? Lose loyalty? Yeah. It's the same event we had like three times, so... It's gonna lose some of your loyalty. Should come back relatively quickly. Only 1% away. Uh... Oh. Why? <laughs> so... You did eat the rest of Oyo. And this last province actually became a different country for whatever reason. Okay, that's cool. That's what happens, Oyo, when you uh, consider yourself too powerful and attack Benin. And so actually started with uh, Oyo's offensive war. <laughs> he attacked Benin, got slaughtered, and got backstabbed by me and Yao. So, yeah. That's unfortunate for him, but good that we got our uh, access to the sea. Uh, actually, could we now build ships, actually? Naval force limit. 12 naval force limit. Yes, indeed, we can. Should we start doing it right away? Uh, I don't want a heavy ship. Let's go and build... Oh, I could not because it's not a core, so yeah, we need uh, to wait... For the quarter finish, that's fine. Uh, yeah, missions are fine. These guys are a little bit disloyal, but it should should be fine and unrest. Timbuk two separatists. Why all of a sudden you're so high? Is it some event that got you so much uh, separ separatism? Tao Denny. Let's look at you. Uh, separatism controlled by clergy. Yeah, I don't know what gave you so much. Uh, not gonna send my troops there for now, but maybe maybe later when when they're gonna get too too much power. Air, I could fabricate another claim on you. Can do that. They're also fabricating on Timbuktu. That's fine. Uh. Also, have we got the idea? Yeah, we did. Global settler increase. 65 a year. Yeah, that's quite a, quite a good number. Mm. Also, freaking Catalonia, or Castile, rather, also started uh, colonizing my goddamn land. Not good. Is it Portugal? No. Thanks God it's not. Uh, okay, what is this? Uh, Emir's lose loyalty. Lose dockets and national tax modifier for advisors. Nah. Lose prestige. Okay, j let's just... Sure, let's just lose some loyalty and then uh, call a diet. You bastards. And there's Timmy again. Wha... I... Um... They're probably... Yeah, they're probably... Spawn? When we have some other religion. Uh, than Sunni. And yes, now that we got this fetishist guys, uh, we got Dhimi again. Okay, sure. It appears that Sultan is now benevolent. Liberty desiring subjects. Ah. I do not have any subjects, so whatever. Uh, but talking about subjects, any chance... The homie, do I have claims or cores? Like your cores? Have a core. Yeah, apparently I do. This, okay. Could not vesselize you, not Bonaman. 
slight possibility of vassalizing Jolov, but still probably quite too far away. So it looks like I'm not gonna be a, uh, a suzerain nation for now. Okay. Yeah, basically not much for us to do, just waiting for the freaking colony to finally finish. And our truce with Mali expired. Oh yes, that's good. It's real good. Might consider attacking them. I still have all these rebels. Uh, how's your tech looking? Tech level 6. So I'm the only one who took 7 for now, right? Yeah, so I do have advantage in artillery as well as uh, military tactics. So it should be relatively good. It should be relatively easy to slaughter their armies. Also, might consider like rotating some of my generals. Might be getting someone with more shock value. How? Yeah, we actually have three leaders capacity, so might as well go and get one. And this one. Oh. <coughs> oh my god. Bless me and bless this general. This feels like a level two. Right? Or two star general. Yes, it is indeed. So he is certainly gonna be better in a uh, fighting but the second one we could use for siege uh, for his siege ability so we're gonna keep them both but yeah this one is real good uh, how's drilling looking they are all pretty high this cannon is new so it needs to be drilled but yeah they're all keeping relatively high numbers uh, so yeah I might as well go and just take Mali maybe wait a little bit for our extension to come down we, we picked up a pretty decent amount by the way, what state are you part of? Zazao. Have I created this state? Uh, yes, I think I have. That's fine. Mm. So, when the f hell is colony gonna finish? Uh, 10 more settlers. Okay, so like a couple more months, I hope. Uh, by the way, our truce with Timbuktu expired. So yeah, for him... Oh, what is that? Malian pretenders. Is it the same ones? This one is nobles. Okay, so it's not... They're not the same. Mali, how's your army looking? You do have your manpower back. And some troops. But I still have tech advantage on you. So probably still take this opportunity. How's my claims looking? I have lost quite a few claims on you, which is really annoying. But you're still my rival. So getting accumulation on you would be quite useful. Quite useful indeed. Uh, and Tuat is finally self-sustaining. Yay! And you actually the part of this state we already have, which is good. Let's go and make a core. And you did indeed got your extra development out of this uh, thing we got, which is awesome. Let's look at this. Oh yeah! You are, you are giving me renaissance, not as quickly as I would like to, but you still do. I wonder if it's gonna be good for me to bump your, uh, bump your development just for this renaissance access, because by itself it's gonna arrive here only in 20 years, which is slightly too slow, but I'm not gonna be doing it right now. But our colonist is free now, so how about I'm gonna stop you drilling, I'm gonna send you to Dagbon, and we're gonna start a colony in Kumasi. It's actually 9 development, really impressive. And we're gonna get 3 more for finishing the colony, so it's gonna be 12 province, uh, twelve development province pretty much for free, which is really, really surprising, or like really, really impressive rather. Uh, okay, Air, could I get any more claims on you? Yes, I can. This is the last one. So let's go and get the diplomat out of here. Also could get a claim on you. And should I get my uh, start my war against Mali? I wonder if I'm going to be able to humiliate him, considering that uh, previous humiliation hadn't expired. I think I sh should be able to. Yeah, it shouldn't be directly de uh, declaring on you, obviously. But probably on Timbuktu. Or Air. Who's a better target? I guess Timbuktu. Your provinces are a little bit... Uh, 
easier or a little bit uh, more developed rather. Mm. But yeah, the amount of claims I have on Mali are a little bit disappointed, disappointing. So let's go and try to build spy network in you, I guess. Ah, you're counter spying as well. But yeah, if I'm gonna be humiliating you, I'm not gonna be able to take that much land. And I do have free claims. I'd probably like to have more. Even more. Uh, okay, Kumasi, you know what? I'm just gonna go and slaughter all of your rebels. Or all of your uh, natives again. Yeah, this way I wouldn't need to pocket you. And yeah, we have full, pretty much like half manpower. We have two-star general. Mali is having problems with rebels. Oh, looks like you finally actually destroyed them. That's annoying. Uh, I've seen gold somewhere in here. Lobby? Hmm. Might be a nice province to get for myself then. For this juicy gold. Okay, so what we're gonna do? Should we declare this war? We probably should. We probably should. So let's go and get on the border with Timbuktu. We're gonna go and get him siege down like immediately. And then just uh, fight with uh, Mali. You're still at tech 6, so yeah, I have all the advantages I need. So let's just go and do this. Let's declare a war on you. Oh, A are gonna join. Okay, this is... A little bit not good, but considering I have claims on you as well... I could just separate piece you for like two provinces. And that's probably what's going to happen. Mali should be stuck in my forts. So I could deal with these two guys before going to Mali. So that's what we're going to do. Declare a war. Air fine. Mali fine. Uh, let's declare for whatever. Like hot. Go and destroy your army immediately. Go and get the siege running. How much we need? Three troops. Okay. I'm going to leave three, four troops for you. The rest gonna come with me. Uh, actually, I should give... I should get my siege leader in here, I think. Actually, we breached the walls, like, instantly. Uh, actually, you probably could move through Timbuktu lands. I wonder. I don't know. That's fine. Air shouldn't have too many armies. We have a cannon here. Mm, I think we're gonna be fine even with this later. Yeah. 14% chance and it's gone. A hut on earth. You breached <laughs> you breached the walls on Jen. You madman. With like no cannons and with me having an advantage. I don't know. Uh, but I'm gonna move through your lands, I guess, trying to pick some battles if possible. If possible. Um, and then, yeah, just go directly for air. Try to get him fully sieged and get a separate piece out of him, I think. And I will let you try and uh, siege my. Uh, Siege my uh, forts because it's probably it's probably gonna be quite tough for you. Okay, yeah, let's go and give get all of these juicy battles. Leader trade gained, L land fire damage plus ten. Nice. He is already extremely good, and getting him even more trades is what I need. Uh, all of these sieges are pretty unfortunate, but not crucial. Uh, what state are you? This one. Okay, I need to create this state at some point, but not right now. I'm a little bit busy. Could convert, but there it's a little bit too long. Okay, so let's go for the capital. Uh, let's go and change our leader for the siege one. Leave the siege leader in the capital just to speed up the siege as quickly as, as much as possible. Leave the cannon in here. Actually, no. Combine again. Doing it a little bit wrong. Uh, take all the cavalry. Uh, how much you need? Nine. And leave like nine infantry. Okay. Let's do it again. Uh, 
pay for the cavalry and leave like nine infantry with you. The rest gonna go and siege all the other stuff. Okay, this is my timer, that's fine. So, we do have a siege leader, we do have a cannon, so it should go relatively well. You guys are receiving Timbuktu. That's not good. But I think I could siege it back again. Not gonna be a problem. So yeah, we need to get air out of this war first. And then we could uh, deal with the other guys. But yeah, uh, for now it's time for me to have a break, guys. So I'm gonna do this and we're gonna continue in the next episode. So, if you enjoyed watching this, you could leave a like. If you want to see more, you could subscribe. And if you want to leave a comment, you should definitely do it. And I would answer as soon as I could. See you later, guys. Bye-bye.